Next. When did you take this picture? Last week. It's clearly not you. That is me. This is Jean-Claude Van Damme over here. Next. You will pay. That is me. Hi, this is Yulia, and in today's video, we're going to talk about how to create great headshots for actors. And I have Steven Tai here in my studio today. Uh, he is an actor based in Florida. Uh, here's his Instagram, and please check out his YouTube channel. That's, by the way, not him. No. no. I wanted to be. <laughs> Uh, the importance of professional he uh, headshots for actors is tremendous and it's a great marketing tool uh, for actors and it, uh, it, it might be even the only marketing tool for those who are just getting into the industry. And I'm going to let Steven talk about it, the importance uh, of the professional headshots for actors. Importance, like you have to have it. There's no way about it. If you want to get into acting, you have to have a headshot. There's no way around it. And you need a decent one. For the longest time I spent like, a, there's so many times where I'd be like, oh, my buddy, like we'll do it for 20 bucks. And he has like, a can and, and <laughs> take it like in an alley somewhere. And uh, it got me kind of by for a little bit, but spend the money, spend a couple hundred bucks, get a good photographer, and get some professional headshots that you have to have them. Because when a casting director, the way it does it now too, it's all online and when they're looking at their monitor, they got just a sea of headshots. Like they're like 30 on one screen. And they have this roll and they're just like brr, brr, brr. If you got a crappy headshot, you're just gonna get glossed over. You need a headshot that pops, stick out. They wanna see your essence, they wanna see who you are, they wanna see your eyes, and you need a photographer that can capture that. It's important. And you also want to make sure that you keep your headshots up to date uh, at least once or twice a year. My last round was in March and already that feels outdated. You need to keep your headshots up to date, constantly changing and adjusting and you don't look like you did a year ago. <laughs> yeah, you don't want I, I do kind of want to show up looking like Van Damme, but <laughs> I'm close. I'm getting there. I can't do the splits quite yet, but I, I'm getting there. I'll, I'll, I'll catch up, Van Damme. I'm coming for you. You actually do like him. I see the... Yeah. forgot the, the, the word for that. <laughs> Smoldering. <laughs> I see the... Um, oh, is that word? The resemblance. Resemblance, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so now let's talk about photography. What I have here today, and that's what I'm going to use for Steven's headshots, is three-point uh, lighting. I'm having my key light right here. This is for the purpose of video only. So, so you guys could see me better. So I have my key light right here, uh, my rim light over here with a grid on top, and my backlight for the backdrop. I also have V-flats on this side, that's for the fill light. I have my uh, gray backdrop uh, for the headshot that I'm gonna use. I may also use a uh, white backdrop. If I'm shooting outdoor, uh, the, it shouldn't look busy behind my subject. Something really simple and clear, uh, just uh, with the main focus on uh, the actor. Now let's talk about outfits. Uh, during consultation, I always recommend to bring as many outfits as possible. Uh, I always recommend to bring uh, solid colors only, no busy patterns, no symbols, no logos uh, on, on the outfits. Uh, mid tones to dark tones, white tones are also great. They will show um, the skin tones of the subject you photograph. Um, but I prefer them to be layered under um, another uh, color outfit. So let's uh, see what Steven brought to the studio today. 
he uh, brought this cute jacket. This is gray color. Uh, this black uh, a shirt and a hoodie. Uh, we also have some green, dark green or yeah, colors. Uh, white, we're not gonna use this one though. He is wearing gray, uh, light gray, dark gray. And uh, he brought this cute lingerie with him. I'm just kidding, that's not his. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> hat? I thought I looked cute in it. Hat? No hats for headshots, no. <laughs> Forget about hats. Um, very, two very important items you should have uh, in your studio is a good steamer and a lent roller. So keep that in mind, very helpful. Uh, we're gonna steam the jacket now. No, no steamer, this is not for you. <laughs> uh, and then we're gonna talk about how to do headshots. I'll show you um, how to photograph. I'm gonna photograph Steven in the studio, uh, posing and lighting. So we're gonna go ahead and um, make this jacket look presentable. Steven, next time, please <laughs> take care of your own jacket. Glamour <laughs> <Blame our> cats. <laughs> This is very important process for this video. Guys, for those who don't know how to steam, I'm showing you. This is a bonus for the, for the, to the video. Steven, you learn. Check it out. <laughs> By the way, it's a pleasure working with Steven. He has great personality. And that personality we're gonna show in his images. It is very, very important to show natural you, personality, and um, maybe something that differentiates you from other actors. Yeah. So we will work on that. I'll show you how I pose, and you'll see my lighting setup in action. Check it. <laughs> I mean, an iron is still 20th century. This is amazing. Yeah, it's very important to have a good steamer, so you will do it fast because I work with some bad steamers and it takes forever. I already know you guys are going to ask what kind of steamer I'm using, so I'm just going to put it in the description. Last time when I did a video and talked about my air mattress, that's what I was asked the most, where did I get my air mattress? So I'll put that into description as well for you guys. This is almost done. Yeah, we're done. And what, what do you have? Cat, dog? Yeah, my cats. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> we all love pets. So that's what usually clients bring to my studio, jackets full of fur. I think love. Very jackets. Bit, loves a little bit of a strong word. They're okay. <laughs> okay, we're ready. And now let's talk about framing. Uh, the industry standard is to capture the medium shot, uh, the medium close-up portrait. Uh, but I always add value to my packages for actors and I offer them full body shot, I offer, offer horizontal images, I um, add image, we do different posing, different outfits, different lighting scenarios, so um, when they leave my studio, not only they have those perfect headshots for casting directors, for their resume, but also some great material for their uh, social media, for website, any promotional materials. Now let's talk about look. Uh, it's very important, as I mentioned earlier, to be natural, be yourself, show your personality, also portray uh, the character you want to be cast for. That's very important. It could be one character or multiple characters. So um, let's see what, Steven, uh, what Steven's ex expectations from today's shoot. Play a loser. <laughs> Play a loser if you really want me to. Play um, a successful person. Just 
This is not meant to be buttoned up while you're sitting down. Play an asshole. Yeah. Well, this is okay. my asshole pose. <laughs> now listen here. I will tell you how to take photos, okay? <laughs> we'll just have, with me playing asshole, I'll just be mansplaining photography to the photographer. <laughs> That's what we'll do. Now stop being an asshole. Okay, sorry. Okay, so now we're touched, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to go to Steven for this or whatever. Um, so yeah, usually most photographers you're going to get, you know, three or four different looks and you want to range. Me personally, uh, like even in, in recent moments, I, uh, I played uh, Death. It is Death who turns the lights out. As one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. And then the very next one, I was an imaginary friend for a six-year-old girl. So uh, I usually walk in going, all right, I want one where I'm the sweetheart. I want one where I'm a huge dick. And then I want something kind of right in the middle that's just intriguing. That's usually what I'm looking for. Okay, so let's do it then. Let's do it. Let's do a touch. So we're starting from uh, this outfit. It's a black hoodie and we're going for a nice guy look first. I'm gonna go ahead and do the medium shot and medium close, uh, close up shot. So those are going to be my safe shots. So let's get started. Uh, I want you, Steven, to m turn towards me, right? So you're gonna be sitting sideways. Uh, place your leg on the box, that's perfect. Bring your arm a little bit further away. Put your hand on top of your wrist and you're gonna be looking right at the camera, straight. So your body is turned away from the light and you're looking at the camera. Yeah, that's perfect. So don't forget, you're gonna give me that look of a nice, positive guy. Uh, we can do a first shot just of, you know, nice guy and then with a little bit of smirk and a couple of different ones. So, are you ready? One, two, three. Very good. Close up. Perfect. Now give me a little bit of smile. That's beautiful. And with a smirk. Perfect. You're doing great. From this point, we're just gonna do different uh, outfits, different looks, uh, different posing. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Stay with me a little bit longer to see uh, the final results, the images that we got for Steven from the shoot. I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you next time.
someone wanna be one.